they'll be calling you a radical. So Blanchard Amos called it again. Some of these Chinook numbers were getting much better than the last four or five years in Oregon over the spring run, if you believe them, which I don't believe anything that Armored Corps Engineers puts out. Zero. And so I'm like, I've seen this in species a million times. This is how it plays out. You see some in the lesser salmon. You know, the reds, the pinks, the cohos, not the Chinook. They'll surge before they have the major epic collapse. So last night, they come out this morning, out of nowhere, out of nowhere. Well, I saw the numbers yesterday. I'm on them like a, I'm on them all over them, even though I'm walking eight miles a day each way because I've got no support. Nobody's funding me. Nobody, everybody's cut me off. Everybody's walked away. You know, it's unbelievable. The guy just got too tough, too political for him. So, these numbers have crashed, and I mean epically crashed. It's prime time. It's that time of year where the Chinooks start running big numbers. They've epically, I mean, so radically, when they, out of nowhere, you can see why. Remember, there's very little, there's no gill netting. So the Deschutes, this is why I think the Armored Corps Engineers are lying on the early numbers of Columbia anyway, to get people up there fishing. The Deschutes has five. You heard me, Adam. Five for the year. Five. I didn't say 50,000. I didn't say 5,000. I didn't say 500. I said five. So the other good, the other news is Toxic Tony in Cleveland. That dirtbag scumbag. So thank you in Cleveland to Judge Adams. The only judge that has any balls in the country. The only judge that isn't in bed, lock, stock, barrel, and afraid of the nuclear energy crime syndicate. He's gone crazy. He's like out now. And First Energy is shaking. No wonder the Cleveland Browns can't win a fucking game. Fucking, they haven't fucking won since Jim Brown. Fucking Ernest Biner on Balco. First Energy. So the Nuclear Energy Bribes case in Cleveland, they've outed Toxic Tony, the mobster, as he'll tear everybody's married to a Baywatcher. He ain't married to a fucking Baywatcher. Do look at a picture of this freak. So the only judge in the country that is not lock, stock, and barrel in bed with the nuclear energy crime scene. We got Fukushima, Fukushima, Fukushima. Judge Adams, thank you. Thank you. You got balls, dude. Thank you. You got balls. He's going after him. He's releasing transcripts. He's like, oh no, I want to see householder and crew. Five of them. One's already blown his head off. We're talking the state of Ohio's house speaker. Householder. They've already been convicted. They're headed Billions of dollars. I was so heavily involved in that fucking bailout. The first bailout, which happened in New York, I'm the only guy fighting it at first. Status clean Como Bank bailout on chemo. They did it here in Utah. We don't even produce it there. Energy solution dirt bags. They did it in Pennsylvania. I mean, the nuclear energy crime syndicate is so fucking out of control, it's unbelievable. And the world bows to them. One word, Fukushima. Nuclear energy pork. It's like you used to ask any mobster in the old days in New York. What bitch she into? Nuclear waste. It's always been that way in Illinois. These criminals. God, these freaks sitting around idle in their fucking cars. What's the matter with them? That's in California. Fuck. People just don't give a fuck. You talk to the youth. We are, we are about nuclear waste, toxic, Fukushima, all this, the anti nuclear movement. You might as well be talking Martian to them. They're all in consumption junkie paradigm. Well, the baby boomers shot them out. Sick me. So these numbers have epically collapsed, and I got zero funding. Nobody's funding me anymore. You know, they all got butt hurt. They all got butt hurt, ran away. Fukushima's too hard for them, and they're all Trumpies. So I'm a Trump ad or an Obamacan, which they're identical freak twins, criminals from hell. You know, went after Afghanistan to kill the Taliban, went after Iraq to get big old sack, went after Vietnam to kill the Viet Cong. How boogeyman fucking nice they've been in Daryl Isis. So. Putin's going to nuke it or make it rain in Ukraine. All you guys calling it. I love these freaks thinking they're all smart, sophisticated, calling it uh, Euro-Asiaism. Fuck Euro-Asiaism. It's like you coined some new fucking, you're smart. That's just a fucking bullshit word for imperialism. This great movement 
which really started in 1994 when Operation Fox on News fucking set up shop and stole baseball. Speaking of this whole thing with Toxic Tony, 95 Indians. You don't think that series was corrupt? Well, that series was corrupt. I'm a Kenny Lofton guy. I'm an Eddie Murray guy. Try me. That series was corrupt. That series was corrupt. You look at the strike zone they were calling on Eddie Murray. You know, what, because Glavin was the player's rep? That World Series was corrupt. Guess who was involved with that corruption in the world? Toxic Tony. Goes back to 95. Goes back. By the way, I should do another video about this. This is the second doctor who sold me a tourmaline one time. I knew Tony went personal. This is the second guy. I'm at the Raptors game. You cannot make this up. At the bar. We have a bar right there on the third baseline. Right there. You're sitting there right there talking to players. You're right on the field. Drinking. It's cool as hell. I'm sitting there talking to a guy from San Diego who worked at Scripps, which you know I call the luxury good at death. You don't think I got any skin in this game? Give me two months to live. what I get for it? Oh, Bill for $2 million? You know, I can't even get a car. Fuck me. I'll just do your dirty work. I'm sitting there talking. This is the second doctor at Scripps. They can't talk, HIPAA laws. My doctors are hardcore nuclear. They know all about Fukushima. They can't talk. It's against all their bullshit HIPAA laws. This is the second doctor that's told me Cancer never killed Tony. This is a surgery. I'm standing there, we're talking about this. The surgery killed Tony. Second doctor that told me that. You know, I knew Tony personally. We got cancer. Basically, we fought cancer together at the same time. What baseball did, this, it's, I'm telling you, baseball metaphors, basketball metaphors, oh, they matter. Brittany Griner, as she's entering Russia, Joe Ballenboy played on this campus, is exiting three days earlier, and he made more than her. He's in Greece, I mean, why did she go in? Why did she go in? That's why I agreed. So, TikTok, the series is fixed in 90. Why the fuck's Kenny Lofton not in the Hall of Fame? Metaphors matter. These numbers have epic collapse. And I wanna to say to all of you, you Trumpettes versus Obama cans, fucking lowest common denominator freak show. Go send a check to Alex Jones. You know, fuck Kevin Lynch. I'll get by with a little help. And thank you, everybody who has supported this work. I say this to all you nuclear energy crime syndicate fuckers who've gone along the Fukushima cover up freaks in New York, Status King Cuomo, in Utah, Energy Solutions, in back back to my city on Ohio, my city was gone. In Connecticut, down by the refinery, Bruce, all you fuckers, left, right. Print media, all of you. I was just talking to an artist at the Wattis School of Art that I went to. I graduated from the number one school business in the country, Wattis. Yeah, that Wattis, the nuclear energy plant, so they took his picture. They got an art show, and he's an insulation artist doing toxic barrels. I'll go interview the fucking kid from Seattle, and I talked to, oh, so you're a toxic barrels insulation artist from Seattle, Washington. What about the salmon class? Yeah, blah, 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 you know. What about Fukushima? Well, I really don't know much about it. I says, right to his face, I says, I'm a baker, what's a cake? I'm a butcher, what's a cow? I have the Hall of Fame boat, who's Kenny Lofton? I'm a basketball player, what's a net? I'm an environmental freaking installation artist from fucking Seattle. What the fuck is Fukushima? I told him you're pathetic right to his face. In a pathetic art school, in a pathetic fuck, this place is pathetic. These people are pathetic. You know, well, we'll see when you get cancer. Fuck it. Where's your fucking crown? You ignorance fucking is bliss. Left, right, freak show. Same fucking ignorant. Fucking post ignorance someday. Not today. Drunk on fucking ignorance. Cliche. Fucking, and proud of it. So. These numbers have epically collapsed. And it's not opinion. The greatest PhD in human history. And I'll walk eight miles a day each way. You know, and go run for me. Go ahead. I really don't give a fuck. I'm that pissed and I'm that disgusted fucking anymore. I really am. Fucking. So everybody's fled from me. That's okay. That's okay. You'll get your turn. You'll get your turn. For the fight is alive. I remember I was given two months to live almost 11 years ago. My work is so historic. 
Lucky you can't see it. Ten years ago out there at the jetty. <laughs> Perfect levels. Historic footage. Hysteric fucking work. First you hypothesize the knowledge. Then you do the field work. Then you defend your fucking knowledge against this tsunami of ignorance. I don't, fuck, dude, if you're an artist, I'm a rainbow-striped fucking giraffe. <laughs> Stay in tune.